Hey guys, welcome to a LEGO review. Now, I don't usually do these Legos, but LEGO reviews, but um, when, I, when I found out that uh, Batman was having a 30th, uh, 30th, an 80th anniversary, um, I couldn't help myself. Plus, this thing looks really, really cool. It looks like the Batmobile from uh, the Michael Keaton era, the first Batman, and I, I personally think that Michael Keaton is the only Batman um, Probably apart from, say, Christian Bale. He's done a bag-up job and obviously in a different universe there. But this one, uh, it's very Lego, Lego Batman. Um, and we'll get into sort of the minifigures that are with it as well. Uh, the model number is 76119, um, as you see down at the bottom here. Right, it's got a cool display of the Batmobile here. Really does look reminiscent of the Michael Keaton Batmobile. Uh, as you probably can see all the way, the box art is very cool. You get Batman here, you get a Joker figure here, um, DC logo right here, which is cool. And the original OG Batman logo over there, side of the box. Uh, you can use this with Lego Life, uh, one of the apps. Um, I didn't use it with it, but apparently it's aug augmented. Uh, augmented reality with the instructions and stuff uh, on the back of the box which is really cool as well little action sequences you can actually fire the um, the little uh, little circular things <laughs> out from here and then Joker also has one of them on his guns up here very cool uh, the Batmobile flame rotates as well when the wheel rotates here which is cool uh, little gimmicky but Again, really, really cool. Side of the box, Batman there, and you got the, uh, what you've all come for. It's the DC 80 years of Batman right here. Um, and they're doing this on a lot of stuff. Um, they're doing this on Pops as well. Um, so there's a lot of Pops that are coming out. Uh, Batman Pops doing the whole 80 years of Batman thing as well, okay? We'll get to the Lego set. Alrighty, so here's the Lego set, completed it last night, didn't take very, very long, um, albeit it's my first Lego set that I've initially created um, for a long time. I used to have some Star Wars stuff, but this will start with the minifigures. Here is the Batman, okay. The suit that he's wearing, um, look, it looks like Batman, um, their generic sort of styled Batman for their superhero line. Um, but it does look like a Batman from, oh, what, uh, Batman Begins or something like that, how he's got the utility belt, I know he's in a grey suit, people can argue that he looks like, uh, the Batman from, um, Justice League and things like that, but look, he's still a good Batman, I would have rather to have them give us a Batman that was reminiscent of the Michael Keaton era, but again, look, this whole the whole kit is not uh, Michael Keaton era Batman but it's still you know uh, still reminiscent of uh, the movie all right so you got Batman he does come with like batarangs you get two batarangs as well just pop into his hands um, his head so you got him having a I think it's a smiley face smiley face and then a angry face on the back here Pretty cool, still pretty cool. But I'll probably pick up a Michael Keaton Batman. So it's a black suit Batman. Here you go, you got Joker with his gun, uh, green arms, uh, their superhero, this superhero kind of Joker. Um, he's got the gun that fires, so we just put one of these things on the front. You guys probably know how all these work. I am not a fan of picking these things up because they're a pain in the ass. Let's, okay. And that's gone right there. So I gotta find that in a bit, but you get the idea. He's not too bad, well designed. Still would have liked him uh, originally. Uh, here we go. He's got another face on there. Upset Joker. <laughs> Let's put this hat back on me on him. And his head doesn't. His hair doesn't want to go on his head. Why? Oh, 
did it before. Oh my god. It has to happen on the camera. What the hell? Alright, you're gonna be hairless joker. Come here. Wow, that is trash, man. Trash. Alright, I'm not gonna spend any more time with that one. Joker can fuck off over here. Alright, until I can actually uh, fix him. Alright, to the Batmobile. I'll move these minifigures out of the way. Um, overall, really, really good. Overall, it's very sleek, very reminiscent of the 1987, is it? 87 Batman, 86 Batman, um, which looks really, really cool, or even 89. Can't remember when it comes out, you know, just tell me in the comments, I bet you will. Uh, very cool, very cool detail as well. Could have been maybe a little bit wider, like in the fenders here. Very cool. Alright, now as you can see the flame it moves when you rotate the wheel here. It's another cool little gimmick here. Um, and it's just the gears on the bottom that make that happen. These wheel caps are very, very nice as well. These bat fins here, I always thought that these bat fins were a little bit too too big for my liking. I would have liked them a little bit smaller to be reminiscent of that 89 or, or the first Batman film. But you know, these can these can be flung up like this, parted out like that if you really wanted to. Yep. Moving down to the cockpit area where Batman sits. All right. As you can see a little bit of detail in there with the gauges and whatnot up there. Uh, pretty cool. He's got like the little intake for the uh, for the engine. Really cool. We'll just go to the back and have a look at the flame. Now I'm going to take the flame off. Easily, easily removable. See the detail in there? Really cool. These things can move left and right. They're just to depict some uh, mechanical, uh, mechanical uh, things that go on around the back, suspension parts and stuff like that. Cool, all in all a great, a great car. You can flip up the front and you got the turbines here. The turbines here, they don't move. Like printed on decals. You do get other attachments for the front so you can like, stick out like this little batarang thing also on the wheels you could actually put like little spiky things as well which look cool um, but I like it I like it pretty much standard um, as, as it sits looks really cool uh, a great addition to say a Batman uh, Batcave you're gonna guys might be setting up as well um, and you have the guns here very similar to the Joker gun right here and on both sides they pop up as well. I would have really liked to, to see that uh, you had some that spring up here from the top and then go over. Uh, very similar to sort of like this. Uh, if this was sort of like the chain gun, um, you can have it like pop up and over here, uh, which would really be cool. Let's have another look at it. does sit really really well, it does play really well as well rolls around, the wheels are rubber, all rubber which is very cool um, she's a bit low to the ground but as the Batman, Batmobile is it should be low to the ground and things like that um, yeah all in all a great a great kit uh, I picked this one up from Target, let's put Batman in here Target I believe it was 30, 39 or $49 um, that's Australian dollars guys, so, you know, if you're in the States, probably it's a little less. Batman clips in there. It's Batman driving his car. I'm gonna hunt down the Joker. But in the kit, the Joker doesn't actually have any, uh, attachments or, not really attachments, but any vehicle. So you just get Joker by himself, he's got a gun, he's basically there trying to shoot Batman and stuff. And, you know, again, it could be cool. There we go, I've just 
put on his put on his hair there. He's just basically shooting out Batman's car in the uh, in the pictures and stuff, uh, which is still that's all right. I would have liked to see Joker have like a bigger gun, maybe like. Oh, maybe we can have him have like a bazooka or something like that, like a massive bazooka uh, anti-aircraft gun. <laughs> but yeah, it's really, really good. This kit is well worth it, guys. Uh, if you are interested in Batman or anything like that, highly suggest picking up one of these um, kits. Very nostalgic. It's, it gives me a nostalgic feel anyway. Um, you've also got things in the line. You have a Batwing, which looks like the first movie Batwing, which is really, really cool. That's a little bit more expensive. It's about $80. Um, you also do have a Batbike that comes with a Robin minifigure. Um, also, yeah, and a, and a Mr. Freeze one as well. But again, it's a good homage to uh, Batman and the 80 years that uh, Batman's been around. Uh, really wish they actually did a normalized version of batman i probably can pick one up no dramas there um joker as well really really cool again a great great set if you guys are interested definitely pick one up thanks very much for watching if you like this video just subscribe and i'll give you some more detailed videos in the future thanks guys peace